we are here for uh, part 25 of a uh, Going to 6, and uh, if my voice sounds a little quieter, then because I'm doing a nighttime recording, I decided to do this, you know, late at night. So, in this part, we're going to be doing the uh, special event, and uh, it's a very a special but a little complicated one. It's called the Lunar Exploration. Yeah, if you want to read the description, you just have to you just pause the video because I'm not going to waste, you know, time just sitting here. And, uh, just apparently, just, you know, go through it myself, because, um, I mean, like, if I want to look back in it and read the description, I, I pause the video. But anyways, the Lunar Exploration is a type of special event where, um, we have to take the Gran Turismo Lunar Rover vehicle, which is basically the moon vehicle that astronauts used in 1971. And they have to, and basically just drive around the moon on the Apollo 15 expedition route in order to get to their mission. Now, the thing is, these missions are difficult, and I'm not joking, they're actually difficult. I was even surprised that the first mission I've done was done in the first attempt though. I thought I wouldn't even be able to make it, and I would be able to just do multiple attempts at this. But yeah, apparently, we have to take this we have to take this vehicle up onto the moon, and the highest speed we can go is possibly, I don't know, like 18 to 20 miles per hour. In order, to, in order to get gold, you have to know where your route is, and apparently, uh, just try not to make as much mistakes though, because the rocks here can really mess up your your vehicle though. Like you saw, you saw how I, I made it bouncy though. You know the vehicle bouncy. I mean, on the hills too, they could cause problems though. But hey, if your vehicle tumbles upside down though, the least can, the game can do is uh, reset the vehicle back into its feet though. Yeah, this is a one of my most disliked uh, events to do though. I mean, I mean, like there's another special event that um I kind of don't like to do. Hey, look, I own a trophy though. I can't see it because I'm recording post commentary in the Premiere Pro right now. Yeah, this is not post commentary though. You, hence the reason why I just you know sound more quiet though because I'm doing late night record. Yeah, I own a trophy. I couldn't see it because I'm <laughs> doing. Post commentary in Premiere Pro. But anyways, yeah, this this was very kind of complicated as you see here. That was the first reset that you see, though. I can imagine there's others that's been that's been done though. I don't really know. One way not so fun special things to do, but well at least it's something we did earn extra money though, and there's actually no price cost for this. That I know that's a shame though. But you don't you do want extra money and you get to try you get to try it this so we just got this out of the way. It counts as a part of the percentage of your game, so yeah. Oh boy, that view could just tumbled. <laughs> you can also see that um I kind of have lack of lack of reaction to this because yeah, I've done it before. I feel that would be more combo doing post commentary rather than live commentary. With the live commentary, you would you would you just hear me just you know complaining and just criticizing the game about this, even though I'm not actually bashing out the game. It's just you know I'm, I was getting kind of getting upset about this event though. Ugh, man, you won't even know. You don't even know quite yet of how I can able to get there. Because these hills, I would I felt the worry about though. I felt worried about these hills. Oh, uh, if we saw a cone and like, glimpse here, then you could tell we're getting closer. I mean, this is the first this is the first attempt I finished this game going, and I didn't think I would be able to get going at all in this way, but I eventually did, and I was surprised at that. You know, I'm just gonna, uh, really, I just say, uh, split out the, you know, what, uh, split in the, uh, video footage, you know, so I can see w which mark I'm on. And look at this, it could be go by by six and a half seconds. This is gonna be me when we on and on and on of all sorts. See here, 3,000 quitters. Do this three times and you earn almost 100k. 
Not supposed kind of with the special by special events. Gave you big prize awards so. The mission two. As you see here, we're possibly on the other side of the moon. We're down here in the low gravity lunar environment, and we have to go down the hill instead of instead of hill climbing. This is kind of going like Fujimi Kaido, though, from the Forza series. This is kind of like you know, you know, the moon's version of Fujimi Kaido, but apparently, you know, it's on the opposite side, and uh, we're actually on the moon for this, so it's a different type of route of where we take, though. Oh yeah, and I also forgot to mention that the there's also barriers in this, so. If you're planning to get out, if you're planning to like evade the mission, like you know, um, chicken out in the cheapest way possible by using the the moon vehicle to 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 have all the sights, then you're wrong because those spirits can actually keep you in though. It's like you know, um, whenever you do a wise successful mission, whenever you go off world, it's gonna disqualify you. It's kind of like that, but you know, they keep you in so that you don't try to get out. You won't even know. You won't even know how many times it, it took to do this. And what I realized is that two things that kept me from uh, getting gold. And I was even surprised here that I did a quick war over and I made a little bit of a, per of a perfect landing. <laughs> I was very really surprised that I did a quick roll over and landed on four wheels perfectly. It's just, it was just crazy. Yeah, as you see here, when the red, you know, it was on the side just moving. Yep, that's a barrier right there. Yep, part of my mind was competing against my goals. And the other part was just trying to get around, you know, get around the downhill um, moon quickly. Because I had to find it, like at least the safest way possible in order to get gold. So I can have a quicker time here. Try at least, you know, get to a route that has not as much mountains, so that it'd be, it'd be good enough to get gold. Well, this, that toy was an utter fail. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's so cringy. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that every one of my videos, except the interview that I did, um, was uh, not that wide back, was uh, kind of cringy. I don't know about you, but there could be plans that I might be able to shut down this channel. And I'm not talking about, you know, doing it yet. I'm gonna keep it open, but possibly no more videos will be in the making. Think about that, but because this video is too, because this channel feels too cringy to me, and apparently, um, just I don't know. I feel it's something else is my passion other than just gaming videos. I mean, that's what happened to one of my cast members, though. Um, he used to do gaming videos, and now he just does voice acting. I can appreciate what he does. That could be what ha what might be happening to me, though, because... Uh... I just don't... I kind of feel like doing gaming videos anymore. I mean, like, I'm still gonna, like, uh, finish up this let's play for you. And we're not even halfway down to the game yet, so... Yeah, I'm gonna at least try to... At least still give you what I can though, in order to get through this. Alright, so we have one more mission, and the last mission is my is the one I just like out of the three so far. It's basically like a carpet break challenge, where we have to knock over three cones on the lunar oval. It's called the lunar exploration carpet break event, otherwise known as lunar mission three. What I don't like is that we have to knock down 30 cones in just a single, in just a circular track. The tough part about this is trying to figure out which way to go and which cones to knock over in the shortest time possible. I mean, you don't even have to complete the circle to com to uh, knock over 30 cones. It's just that the tough, the really tough part was uh, just. Knock up the 30 cones in just the shortest time possible. The goal time was 132. The god time is 132, so you wouldn't even b believe how many attempts this was. And I don't believe my time was recorded though, because I kept restarting in order to get gold. Nope, nope, 
I didn't even finish it. I just restarted until I can find a perfect until I can find a perfect spot and perfect timing to get gold. And this was the attempt so far. You wouldn't even believe how tough it was. And some I even break so so that we sure to knock down the cone that I plan to knock down. Like the next one. <laughs> yeah, I seriously don't like this. I feel even terrible watching this, so... It was a great thing that Cone just decided to knock down that one. Okay. Some good things is that some cones that you knock down might be able to reach the other cones and knock and uh, either touch them to knock them down as well. I was going at good speed here, and I was and I was sure it was good enough to knock down in a good time possible though. All right. Yep. I was assured to myself that this was a good time here. 129.566. Alright, the new exploration is now done. And, uh, basically, it's one of the most toughest events ever in GG6, so... But, yeah. It was supposed to be challenging, then so do it, though. If you want challenging things, then do this. I didn't like it, though, but still. I did it anyway, so, yeah. Also, this gets unlocked after you complete the natural aid licenses, so, yeah. Now that this special event is done, I feel it's gonna be a good time to finish up the next part though. I did leave all the time though, in case I go off ramping again, again when I go back to the menu screen, so yeah. yeah. As a past me does this, I um, yeah. The next one will be the National A Crash Base Events. And I won another trophy. Yay. Yeah, so in the next part, we're gonna start off the National A Crash Base Events so, and I already recorded that though, and it's already uploaded, so... Well, it's not already uploaded, I, did, I already have an edit, so... Yeah, I just had to get this done real quickly. Alright everyone, thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a very good night.